Hey everyone, Pastor Tim here from West Shore. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time. We are in the book of Hebrews chapter six, and we are picking up in verse 13 through the end of this chapter. The section that we are about to read is perhaps one of the most important theological sections in scripture as it truly gives us an understanding of what the promises of God through grace um, are really all about. So let's read it together. When God made his promise to Abraham, since there was no one greater for him to swear by, he swore by himself saying, I will surely bless you and give you many descendants. And so after waiting patiently, Abraham received what was promised. People swear by someone greater than themselves, and the oath confirms what is said and puts an end to all argument. <clears throat> because God wanted to make the unchanging nature of his purpose very clear to the heirs of what He, of what was promised, he confirmed it with an oath. God did this so that by two unchangeable things in which it is an impossible for God to lie, we who have fled to take hold of the hope set before us may be greatly encouraged. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. It enters the inner sanctuary behind the curtain where our forerunner, Jesus, has entered on our behalf. He has become a high priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. So why this is important is the author talks about Abraham. And remember that Abraham came before Moses. Abraham came before the law was given. So Abraham, his relationship with God was based on two things, his faith and the grace of God. And what we need to understand is that the promise that God made to Abraham included the law, but looked forward hundreds and hundreds of years to the coming of the Messiah, the promised one of God, the anointed one, and that through him, we would be saved because of our faith and our the grace of God. And this is what makes this passage so important because we need to understand that we absolutely cannot be reconciled to God. We cannot be redeemed um, by keeping the law, keeping rules and regulations that we are, it is impossible for, do, to, for us to do that. We are reconciled. We are made right with God simply, simply by the grace of God, which sent Jesus and through our faith and believing in him. We need to understand folks that we desperately need a savior. You and I, because of the sinful nature that we have been born into, have been separated from God. Not, nothing we do, no matter how good we are, no matter how kind we are, those things will not reconcile us to God. There's only one thing that will reconcile us to God, and that is the grace of Jesus Christ that was poured out through his blood on the cross. And we are called to have faith in him and faith in him alone. 
Let's pray together. Father, thank you for your amazing grace. Thank you for the grace that uh, sent Jesus so that we could have faith in him and be redeemed to you. We thank you today that we do not have to depend upon ourselves because we know we would fail miserably. Thank you that we depend solely upon you and what Jesus did for us on the cross. We thank you for grace. We thank you for the faith that you have given us. And it's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Well, I trust you'll have a wonderful Wednesday, as always. And until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. God bless you.